see, I haven't looked at it yet. What color do you guys think it is? Let me sit down. Woo. All right, what's up y'all? Hello. <laughs> Here today, I'm gonna talk about my life in Baltimore right now and I'm also gonna open up my hula hoop that I bought for myself for my own enjoyment while I'm doing it. I am loving Baltimore, which I'm really surprised that I am because I didn't really wanna come to Baltimore because of all the bad things that you hear about this place, especially the crime, but I'm actually loving it here. I love the stores. I'm right by the water, which is really nice. And the transportation isn't bad. Now, as far as the hospital goes, I love the hospital that I work at. I love it. Okay. And just so you guys know, I bought this hula hoop off Amazon. Um, it is a Poly Pro hula hoop. I bought it from a hoop company, but it was like one of the cheaper ones. It was only like $30 because I didn't want to buy a more expensive one because you see how it's like fold. It's like folded right now. You'll see when I open it up because it's like collapsed and I want to be able to collapse it when I take it home with me, which most hula hoops are collapsible. But with my experience, if you haven't collapsed them in a while, when you do collapse them, they actually snap and break. So I wanted to get a hula hoop that I wouldn't be upset if it snapped and broke and I couldn't take it home with me. I could just ship it home, but then that, that defeats the purpose of like trying to save money. So it's gonna be any random color. So let's all take a guess and see like what we think, like what color it's gonna be. I'm gonna say, I don't know. Blue. I'm gonna say blue. So anyways, I love the hospital that I'm at. And I love the people that I'm working with, which is really nice. Let's see, I haven't looked at it yet. What color do you guys think it is? Let's see. I'm looking at it at the same time that you guys are. Wait, hold on. I gotta get it out more. Ugh. It is black. <laughs> it's black, you guys. I was gonna say black too, but I didn't think it would come in black. Oh, it's like a black sparkly. I don't know if you can see. It's like a sparkly black. Wow. Never had that before. So I got it without any grip tape, so I'm going to... <laughs> I got it without any grip tape. So I bought grip tape off Amazon for $7 and I'm just gonna wrap it in some grip. But yeah, I love the hospital that I work at. I love the people that I work with. You know, there's a national coin shortage right now. And so I have coin laundry in my hotel only like a dollar seventy-five for each load, which isn't bad. There's a national coin shortage. So guess who can't get coins right now from any bank? This girl. And any business, they're really not giving like quarters. They're really not supposed to. So I'm having issues getting quarters, right? So I was telling this um, this tech about my, like this tech at work about my issue of getting quarters and somebody else came up to me the next day, another nurse, and she handed me a bag of $30 worth of quarters, y'all. $30. So that I could do my laundry. This thing is huge. See? But you see how it's collapsible? But if you haven't collapsed it, see it's even hard to get it back. If you haven't collapsed it in a few months, it's hard to get it back like that. They usually snap. So, but if it snaps, I won't be upset. All right. See, so yeah, she gave me $30. Of course I did 
I Venmoed her. I Venmoed her $35 actually, because I was so thankful. So, I was really excited about that. Woo! Let's get some tape on this. So now I have enough quarters to do my laundry for the next couple months that I'm here. Holy crap, this is a lot of tape. I have some more for my other hoops. Look at the colors I got. Wow, this was $7 off Amazon, y'all. Got tons of colors. What color should I wrap my hoop with? Let's see. Probably gonna go with pink. I'll do pink. Can't get them separated. Come on. Ah. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this tape when I leave. Okay. So this is a grip tape, so it helps the hoop kind of stay on you a little bit better. But yeah, they offered for me to extend. for um, three more months here. And even though I do love the hospital, I'm probably not going to. This is the hardest part. I'm probably not gonna extend at the hospital just because Florida's a hot spot right now and I feel like that's where I'm needed. So I'm probably gonna go back to Florida. I mean, you can't travel 50 mile, within 50 miles of where you live. And you know, I live in Fort Lauderdale, so I will probably travel to like Orlando. I've been seeing some contracts pop up. This is gonna be so uneven, but I don't really care. This is hard. So yeah, I don't know. I think that I'm probably gonna go to either Florida or Texas. The reason why I wanna go to Texas is because I have my brother there and I do wanna move there um next year around may my lease runs out in my apartment in may so i want to move there and buy a house with a pool so that's where i've been looking it's actually not too bad it's so hard to do this y'all i'm struggling I did meet this other couple from Florida that I actually work with. They're a respiratory therapist. One's a respiratory therapist and one's a nurse and they both travel together. And, you know, we, we went on a run together, social distancing run. And I don't know, we just kind of hung out and I really, it was nice to be able to hang out with people and to just have like some social interaction instead of not being able, instead of just being alone. And my boyfriend's supposed to come visit me next month, so I'm excited for that. They're finally giving me the schedule that I want. Um, before I was working like one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, which is why I was like so tired in every video. I mean, I feel like I'm like chronically tired, but I made those friends, which was really nice. And that's pretty much it. I feel like the time is really flying by. Um, the COVID cases are increasing here, which is why I think that they're trying to renew me. And they did just shut down like all of downtown Baltimore, actually like right where I'm staying, they shut everything down. So you're not allowed to eat indoors in anymore because a lot of the restaurants weren't following the rules which good you know what people should be shut down if they aren't following the rules i feel bad for the businesses that were following the rules and that are going to suffer from this but let me go get some a knife but if people aren't going to follow the rules then i don't think that they should be allowed To do certain things. Wow, I cut that almost perfectly. 
See that? That's where the split is. Whatever. Alright, anyways. I don't know why I started taping in the middle of the hoop. Whatever. I love having my own kitchen. That's like the bomb.com right now. I can come home and cook myself some eggs. I mean, they have breakfast, but it's usually just like hard boiled eggs or like cereal, which like I definitely will take a cereal and then I like I'll steal the cereals and bring them back up to my hotel. And I have cereal on deck for whenever I want cereal. But. For the most part, I've just been cooking in my hotel room. And then I went to this one place called Blackwell something, Blackwell Hitch or something like that. It was really good. If you guys are ever in Maryland, definitely try it. I got the soft shell crab sandwich. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. This is hard. I'm kind of getting a technique now. <sighs> okay, well that top part is super uneven, but whatever. Yeah, so I'm only bummed about Marilyn closing down again because I really wanted to go to the aquarium with my boyfriend when he got here. But I don't think that's going to be possible anymore. Alright, sweet. Got grip tape inside my hoop. Probably shouldn't have done that. Alright. So I have <laughs> enough space here to actually hula hoop inside my um, hotel, which is why I wanted a hula hoop, because I really just wanted something that I could do inside my hotel. Kind of seems kind of seems crazy, but I really do have enough space, and I was thinking about moving the kitchen table, because I don't really use the kitchen table anyways, except for to put stuff on. So let's see how this hoops, y'all. Okay, so I moved the chair and the table from the space, from the space to the chair, I found this awesome stain that's there, which is cool, it's not my house, whatever. But yeah, so now I have all this room for activity. Nice. Oh, I'm dizzy now. I'm so excited. Alright guys, well, thank you for watching me tape up my whole loop and me talk a little bit about Baltimore. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment if you want to see more. Follow me on TikTok, y'all. I got like five followers on TikTok. I need help. It's uh, pretty tragic. Bye.